My little merit badge. Did you ever get a merit badge? I did. What was, was it for? Being at Chrome Dome? <laughs> was, no. <laughs> you was can't, a Cub Scout. You can't be bald as a kid. <laughs> I had hair. Yeah, that's fucked <laughs> up. I think I got one for whittling and one for tying knots and one for... You got married when you were eight? Merit. Merit. You got a marriage badge. I mean, some of those fucking camp counselors, they get weird, man. Someone threw shit all over that sign. It was that cow. <laughs> Oh, it's a oh, it's another logo. I, I swear oh, no, that droning is from like it makes me think of like the Mist intro, the movie The Mist. No, the game Mist. Oh, I never played it. You could say you missed it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but would you say that? Smiles like an ugly twat when he makes a joke. What the fuck kind of Whoa. a statue is that? Okay, Mr. Harvester, you got some fucking explaining to do. This the toilet? You gotta go in the hole in the mansion. <gasps> ah! Ah! Dude, this is a cinematic gaming experience. He was M. Lee Jacobson. I don't know. Who's Gilbert Austin? Those should be household names by now. Yeah. What is this happened? A, is this a game that was like built? for DOS in the, like, 2020s? That can't be it. Or is this actually just an old game that got f made functional recently? It was built for PC. DOS children of yore. Chris found this in his basement. My dad used to make floppy disks. He used to make them from scratch, and he gave me this one. He built the floppy disk? Yep. And he said, Chris, w when I die and my corpse turns completely black, you are to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Don't say that about my poor fucking daddy. What is this fucking Sims world? It's haunted. Oh, this is scary. This is like Beetlejuice or some shit. That's clipping through the bells. This is what horror <laughs> was back it. in the yeah. day. They shouldn't have focused on that. Yeah. Oh. Dude, look I, at that back knee. That's fucking scary. It's nice, freckles, you nice asshole. Back okay. freckles. I can relate to this guy. This guy's 86 now. He's 86 bits. Flannel wearing ass. I think this game might actually kick ass. This has been sitting on our hard drive for like, what, a year now? Long time. Five years? Long time. Oh my god, I'm gonna harvest this Use little guy. Use the left mouse button to move your character on the screen. Next. If you're stuck on a puzzle, talk to the other characters. Next. Avoid cliches like the plague. Oh. Ammunition is precious, so don't waste it. I think this will just keep giving you tips forever. If you get stuck on the <laughs> puzzle, try using items in crazy illogical ways. Hey, you gotta be fucking crazy to beat this game. Save your game often, especially before trying something crazy, illogical, or dangerous. This is all I ever wanted. Obviously, Obviously, some fat high school <laughs> guy left it there. That's the best first line in any game I've ever played. A 148 scale P-47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. Of course you know that. I feel like we can look at anything, you guys. There he goes. <laughs> look at him go. Play can the you? sex offender shuffle. State of Florida has asked us to close our sexual crimes to you. We were bad, but now we're good. Moving <laughs> What is this? You peer through a thin layer of dust at your reflection. What have I become? A cheap folding chair, such as you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and other religious gatherings. I like to think that this guy was just like walking across campus and they fucking like videotaped him <laughs> and just put him in their game. <laughs> He's walking across campus in perfect profile. An empty trash can, so clean you could eat from it. I'm not saying you should eat from it, but like, you know, you you could if you wanted to. I'm not seeing a table here, but like, you know, if if worse comes to worse, you can eat out of the garbage. Just just, you know, in a desperate situation, but th this might Whoa. act Whoa. Ooh. Are you Dude, are those your moves? Oh, wow, I can aim, like, all over the place. This is fucking wild. Holy shit. Cool. Okay. Let's hit the bed. Hit the bed. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this lame room. Oh, <laughs> beat his ass. You're mine. Fuck that cowboy up. What? Who am I? 
Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Mom? Mom? Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. <laughs> wow. So I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to... To remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lousy rat. What does he mean by that? Well, Call him right. that. What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl, and now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're gonna be, then you can drop dead. This kid's Aww. a little shit. What does that mean? Yeah, lighting out. Clarify lighting out. Yeah. What do you mean I'm lighting out on you? First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Steve in a baby carriage. What the this hell are you good. talking about? What the, what are you talking about? Young man, don't you dare use that kind of language <laughs> in this house. I don't know. How'd you like that? I think mom is more a concept is. than a... Uh... <laughs> This, physical thing. This appears to be like a 1950s style thing. I think mom is in the kitchen. Cause you're lighting out on me to go off with that stupid girl. So tough it. I don't care anyway. Why are you being so mean to me? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Huh? Under other, you can type stuff. Tell him to fuck off. Tell him to eat shit. Say what? He didn't like that, Lyle. Say what? He doesn't know anything. You've never freaking heard of Reddit, 1950s Safe. kid? That's a weird looking television. Holy oh. shit! Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. <laughs> you unlocked this? Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I. I can't remember. So he woke up in the fucking 1950s? That's what it seems like. Cowboy. Cowboy. Uh-huh. About... Hat. Hat. You fucking idiot. Okay, bye! Wait, 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 we need to ask him one more thing. Where's Dad? Say what? No Dad. No, he doesn't no understand dad Dad. Year? Say what? Okay. What year is it? Fuck you. Good. Finally. I don't really like this kid. Go talk to your mama. Try using your karate on him. Yeah, you should walk up and try to <laughs> whack him a little bit. What? Oh, every he's time, about to every time. do something hateful to that Indian. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bleep when I say Indian, because that's not uh, the right term, I guess. The correct term is engine. <laughs> Native engine. What is that? What is that? What is that? This that is a gradient on a circle. Can we move the cabinet? Go here, you jerk. Okay. Can you defeat child? <laughs> no, we can't even go near him. Oh. I know. Yeah, we're, we're restricted to the rear plane of this room. Wow. What a fucking coward. Mummy. In his own house, being walked all over by a child. Hit mom. Okay. It's the 50s. It's fine. You can do that. Gee. It won't let me do it. It won't let you approach her close enough. What is that thing in the foreground? That's the baby. Cookies. Oh, a baby. That's like one of those fucking, like, big TikTok babies. <laughs> have you seen that shit? Those people on TikTok that have, like, five-foot babies? Oh, yeah, I've seen that one kid. What? Yeah, they're, like, gross, huge you? babies. You're my mother? I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. She's ass. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. So that's my name. Steve. I your am name Steve. Will be N -U -D mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. <laughs> what? The, the kid called me Steve over this and over. This may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. <gasps> I wanted to see my little sister. Sister? Shh, you'll wake her. 
If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. She'll want to eat that wasp. Yeah, what was that? What was, what was wasp that? Sucking on a spider. Darn it, I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Who's Sparky? Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Yeah. Now you've done it. Are you happy? There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> cuts to these is fucking scary as hell. Oh! What? <laughs> She's a monster, that's what she is. <laughs> what the fuck? What is happening? This is a good video game. I never thought I'd see that in my life. Wasp woman. What's the wasp woman? What the fuck is a wasp woman? Wasp woman. Tetsu Akram is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. And I don't know what the you fuck you're talking about. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or bite. Golly, I'll take it up at the PTA. Or the lodge. Wait, so there's a woman who lives- it just, like, has wasps everywhere? It sounds What's like- What's the PTA got to do with anything? The PTA has a lot of clout in Harvest. We run the charity bake sale, the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. What the fuck's the lodge? I hey, thought clout was a new word. Charity I don't think it's a new sale. word. I thought it was. What's the harvest? It's the harvest town. Is a town unlike any you've ever ah. known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a Don't walk ask me anything. Someone else. Never I'm talk here. to me ever <laughs> again. <laughs> ask her about that there lodge. Yeah, what what's the lodge? lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never <laughs> used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the Did lodge? She just drop an ad? Membership? Yes. She product placement? Why not? I'll go look into it. Uh, hey, I the last thing I want is a fez on my head. I would never say that. Why not? I'll look into it. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of harvest. Bye, Mo. Wait, let's ask Mommy about baby. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Baby. <laughs> it was the sister, and she already told you about her. Uh, what about wasp? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. I hate my mommy. Goodbye. Say bye-bye. Bye, mother. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. The papers. I want a cookie. Examine the cookies. You may only examine the cookies. You may not taste of the cookies. It's like that saying, you can't examine your cookies and eat them too. <laughs> Sparky Super... Oh, Fireman Sparky Super Foamy Fire Extinguisher. Okay. Goodbye, mommy. Have fun mixing your whatever. I hate this kid more than anything. That's okay, the boob tube is frying his brain. You can see it's turning him into a weird static monster. Oh! What Jimmy the hell? James. I'm not putting up with no Jimmy James. Zoom right in on his face. You tell him to get the right the heck away from your home. <laughs> oh, there's a frisbee! A day glow lima space disc stuck on the roof. Oh, we live under this. You live under the dang high voltage power lines. I feel cancerous. Okay. Talk to that ugly child. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, no. I guess not. Hey, Why would he how say come that? you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I've <gasps> got better things to do. <laughs> got better things well, to I do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. Jeez. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? The fuck does that mean? That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got Whoa. any spare sneakers? Spare sneakers? Yeah, you Child, know. I cannot comprehend a world where you can give anything value to me. <laughs> I want to give him sneakers. You're fuck off. No. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What, what do you, you have? You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? 
Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. No way. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? What the fuck is wrong with you? Whoa, this sounds awesome. Okay, take the sneakers. Yeah. Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, forget it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers. And that's that. See you later, alligator. I just want to see, see later, them alligator. fuck in the broom closet on schedule. Do you have any extra sneakers in your bedroom? <laughs> We're gonna find the fuck out. Oh, the master room is locked. Beat up your little brother and take his shoes. He's not hurting nobody. I need nobody. your shoes so I can see see my principal fuck of somebody. <gasps> Look! Saddle shoes. I guarantee you that's like an item you have to find. Yeah, those aren't sneakers anyway. They're saddle shoes. Oh! Uh, examine the pen. Ooh, you double click on shit. You got the pen. Uh, a quarter? Oh, you got a whole quarter. Get the sunglasses. Think you're rich in this yeah, era. you gotta look like a cool Joe. Let's see. What's this crud? That's a spec. Okay. Don't let's, touch that. Let's get out of here. Don't touch. That's the beginning of the end. If you touch that. <laughs> Please, Lil, don't say that. No, I just, I'm just telling you how it is. Okay. Examine the acne medicine. There was not acne medicine. It was in all 19... over his back. <laughs> it was back day. I guess that kid's never getting these fucking sneakers. Don't worry about that kid. Yeah, don't he, worry about anything I he wanted has to see to the fucking lady fucking well, in there. Go no. walk around town and yeah, like, find more stuff. Give me your fucking sneakers. Say what? You fucking uh, useless shit. Good. Shut up. Let me out. I can't take it no more. Do, 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 shuffle I can't across stand the being disrespected like this in my own house. Where'd he go? Examine. An air conditioner. An army surplus air conditioner. I can go over here. Whoa. Look at this big world. This is crazy. This is an open world. So this is my little town, huh? This is your little town. This is supposed to so. Weren't you supposed to go to the wasp lady's house? Let's Where go to the lodge she? or something. Or the lodge. Let's go to the lodge. What the fuck did okay, I just walk yeah, into? Just, uh, <laughs> Jack Black. Oh, it is Jack Black. Alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. This doesn't seem good. Examine Red eyes the gleam hole. with eerie malevolence from the darkness. Cool. I love to examine the hole. Talk to that trustworthy looking guy. Okay. Only initiates may enter the hall. <laughs> That's not his voice. <laughs> did you say something? I did not speak. But how? Only those who seek enlightenment or want Does that guy attention. remind you of anybody? To Lyle, kinda. Yeah, that kinda is like a heavy- a heavier-faced Lyle. I wanna join. There are always obstacles to the path. You must first fill out an application to be considered for <laughs> What? The mysteries. What is this fucking world we've- <laughs> Okay, yeah. let me get the paperwork. Members of the Order are privy to many hidden truths. So you try a Zed test? Where you can take it as many times as you want? They know what the worm knows as it squirms in a rotting leg. They know what you've forgotten. You're talking about my amnesia, aren't you? When you find the path, truth will be revealed to you. I hate pretentious assholes like this. You will know what you knew. I think he's kind of cool, actually. He's, he's like, like Dr. Claw meets Frank Oz. Weirdly enough, he's the nicest character you've met so far. It's true, he's kind <laughs> of friendly. True. There's something fishy going on here, and I'm gonna figure it out. Where's the dang wasp? Missile base, go to the missile no! base. No! I don't wanna go back See in here. See if you can launch a nuke. For okay. fun. I'd say we, we could probably go launch a nuke, sure. <laughs> what, what the fuck? Whoa, what's going on Is here? Is that a torso? You. Explain yourself. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. All right, this is section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. Jesus, that dude. Makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? <laughs> Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Don't say. Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. 
keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? <clears throat> God damn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! <laughs> the price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Wow. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents. Can I safeguards. press the button? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Whoa. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. When I got my lower torso shot off in the war. <laughs> okay, okay, so he is missing. I'm glad he acknowledged it. To stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the and best they game. Gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Mm, yes, yeah, the, the nuclear missiles. missiles. Uh, uh, I want to know about your intestines. The funny yeah. thing about it is, you wouldn't think so, but you've got about three miles of intestines in your body. No all way. curled up. I don't that think that's not true, true at all. Yeah. As I gauged my progress. While I crawled from Germany Maybe like England, seven, eight feet, my but intestines like... would unravel. Such that every three miles, I'd have to roll them back up and stuff them back in. It became my three benchmark. miles. What I lived for. Every time I stuffed my intestines back in, I knew I was three miles closer to freedom. In this way, I kept my sanity. Oh my god, dude. That's what I told those idiots in Washington. But did they listen? No. Some weak sister shrink said I was too emotionally unstable to kill Koreans. So they transferred me to this boring stockpile of armed nuclear warheads. <laughs> this is fucking boring. And to top it off, those pansy firemen won't let me join the Harvest Volunteer Fire Department. Oh, it makes you wonder. What's the point of going on? <laughs> I freaking love this world where they just have their nukes out just to show everybody. Yeah, like, and the guy is like, there are no safeguards. <laughs> Anyone can press the button. I wish the real world was this crazy. Let's talk about the fire. They just gotta get past a torso. I wanted to get back into the thick of the action and out of this desk job. Those firemen are a damn peculiar bunch of ladies. I thought they'd object to my lack of a lower body, but they wouldn't let me join the fire department because they said I couldn't draw naked men. <laughs> what what is draw happening? Naked men? Who the hell wants to? I could draw one if I was a sick commie pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I did this last night, what do you think? <laughs> what is this game? Oh my god. More. That's a fine drawing, Colonel. Ah, uh, arts for commies. I want to say that. You don't say. Then you'd better go reconnoiter the fire station, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. Determine if commie infiltration has occurred in harvest. And report back here. <laughs> Your report could make the difference in what I decide to do. I say we follow what, this Colonel? plot line. This Never is... mind that, son. It's easier if you don't know. If we can convince him the fire department is drawing dicks, will he launch nukes? Is that <laughs> I'm hoping is that yeah. what he implied? I hope. Why not? Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can oh. you give me any reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? Jeez. No. Go ahead. No, not really. <laughs> Say no, not really. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. No. No, he's gonna shoot me! No, oh he's my insane. god! And you lost the news. Holy shit! Oh my god! I've never been so shocked by a game before. Oh my god! <laughs> Should we talk to this guy again? The missile base guy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, might he, as well. He gave you that little mission. Tell him you're not a communist. I'm not a f***ing Yeah, he gave you a fireman dick mission. Oh, what do you want? 
Did the llamas send you? Epic. That is the funniest <laughs> thing! The llamas, they fear me. That's good. Someone has to keep them in check. I want you to infiltrate those firemen, mister. There's a lot of art going on over there. I want to make sure they haven't turned into commie bastards. You got that? Okay. Got your mission. Infiltrate the firemen. Where are those fucking firemen? Meat plant? Hmm, TV? Fire station. There we go. Oh, hell. Oh, you better not be drawing a dick. Oh, you better not. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> it did wonders with the upstairs bedroom. But this garage defies color coordination. Oh boy. I think the fucking military guy was right about these guys. Sorry, Steve. After I'm through here, I've got cleaning to do. Rush, rush. <laughs> okay. Never heard a fireman talk like that. Yeah, this game definitely wasn't made recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I want to examine the dog. Jesus, saliva is foaming from his barking chops. Is he rabid? Wait, Don't what bother me, I'm sketching. Oh, look what you made me do! <laughs> They're all gay. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. face with that voice. Oh, cut it out spots, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. There you go, Spot. Okay. I'm glad we got to see that in full motion. Oh, there's Fuck. more. There's more. You thought it was over. <laughs> <laughs> it was so worth it. Why? Uh. So, Steve, I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. I feel safe. Why are you sketching Where'd nude you men? Where'd about my memory loss? Why are you sketching nude men in my fire department? Which one should I say? They're both good questions. Yeah. I want to know about the nude men, honestly. Please. It's not the subject, it's the process. Don't be such a party pooper, Steve. We're talking about art. Oh, finally, someone's drawn that. I was waiting forever. Right. We haven't had a fire in Harvest since the newspaper building burned down. Though I'll admit that the wasp woman's place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? This is like the second person to mention the wasp woman. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you for this, uh, Spot. That was blatantly someone just going, <laughs> I'm glad. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching, fetching examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further from the truth. I don't think... I don't think the guy playing him has that affectation. No. What do you know? You don't know the guy. It's just not well done. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Maybe you were too busy drawing to put it out on time. Perhaps. Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a pulsing fire hose, or a fireman beating down a blazing door. So what if we're drawing a nude man? So what if all we ever draw is a nude man, or the same nude man over and over in <laughs> all sorts of provocative positions? I feel content, like the nude man is gonna... That, is gonna have some valuable the insight. Ghost, Steve, it's beneath you. You know, if I walked into a fire station and I saw this big, beautiful room, and this is what they're doing, I would be kind of freaked out, too. It's also like playing alien music. Yeah. Art yeah. and rich- Everything is wrong here. Talk, talk to, talk the, to the, yeah, the- talk to the- I feel like he's gonna have a lot to say. He's gonna be the smartest guy in town. I don't converse on the job, Steve. <laughs> oh. I don't know. That doesn't- that doesn't disprove my theory. No, he's hiding something. He's seen some things. A well-endowed nude man sitting in the moonlight. Oh, just a little accident outside. They've got Ming Dynasty fans. They've got a f two fireplaces. Stop it, you're messing me up! Okay. Okay, well... I think we definitely need to go back and report these guys. Sorry, Steve. Not enough fires in this town. No! That's a cock. Oh, Dude, no. he just hit the dog! Yeah, you just heard him hit the dog. Oh, uh, the air here reeks of fresh soil and manure. Smell it more, just to be safe. Jonathan A. Rhinecliff. Jeez, you can really just read every one of them? No, okay. Please don't do that. 
What's over here? <laughs> I have yet to find something that you can punch. And that makes me mad. Yet another resting place among the graves. You should try attacking somebody. I've tried. I, I can't attack nobody so far. Ooh. You're going there. You can't go in the mausoleum, uh -huh. son. The Potsdam family crypt. Potsdam. Okay. Well, there's nothing to do around here. Jesus. It's some kind of memorial thing. I'm out of here. This is a scary place. It's so loud out here. This world is actually really scary. This, this gives me, like, stalker vibes. You could get struck by lightning and get cool-ass <laughs> scars. I wonder, can you get struck? Dude, you know that if you get struck by lightning and you get those cool-ass lightning scars, you only have them for, like... A few days and then Wait, they go really? Away. I thought you keep them forever. Yeah, no, I, I did too. They are really cool looking. They're badass. Oh, this wasp over here. Scars. Oh, this is the wasp woman. Okay, I feel like we should probably save. Yeah, you can definitely die in the wasp house. If you can't die in the wasp house, then where can you die? Where's a guy gotta go to get killed? What the fuck? Whoa. Well, now. I'm scared. The icebox is sealed shut with wasp's nests. Woman, stop gyrating for a moment and address my presence. A rather colorful picture of a wasp. I love wasps. It's not often that I get visitors. Yeah, because you're a crazy wasp. Show me your wasp! The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I think it's I just simplicity, understand. dude. Uh, I think it's an accurate honey. descriptor. <laughs> the Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. What do wasps have to do with unbridled pleasure? Look, she's talking. What don't wasps have to do with unbridled pleasure? I want to know about the honey, honey. Well, raising bees is acceptable because they produce honey. But sometimes it's not what is produced. Yeah, but wasps are like way more fucking assholes so than bees. All, all they do is, is sting. Yeah, they're pieces That's of all shit. They I don't see do. any particular use for wasps. Thank you, Steve. Why must everything have a use? Be because... Is money always the determining factor? We didn't even say money. More slender. More aerodynamic than the bee. Whoa. <gasps> cool. The wasp is a joy to behold. Oh my oh. god, it's the fucking lodge place. There's little ancient symbols. Ancient symbols and a wasp's eye? And juicy. Is juicy. that enough to compensate for the little drawbacks? I suppose. What are the drawbacks? I don't the understand. The drawbacks, you say? As you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. Another reason to love them. Bees are like animals. They have no conception of individual sensation. Of pleasure. Ask her about pleasure. Please pleasure me. I would do anything. Yes. A great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. I think this is just a weird sex thing. I don't think that this yeah. woman does this for any particular she other reason. She gets off to, to wasp stings. That's yeah. the summary. Which, to be fair, worse things to get off to, I suppose. Not many, granted, but several. ejaculation. What are you talking about? An act of love. What is ejaculation? <laughs> Please tell me. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, wait, try try typing ejaculation. It's not often that... Uh... Please tell me about... Queen. 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 A triviality. What? What? How dare you? It is not. I'll That's put a it. fucking triviality on your face. A triviality. What? Oh my god, Tomar. She, she has no respect <laughs> she for all the things that make me... A triviality. Whoa! <laughs> Tomar, she doesn't respect you. Uh, Fuck. Maybe steal from her. They're infested with wasps. What about the refrigerator? Wasps! Steal with wasps. wasps. What, about the, what about the oven? Full of baked wasps. I'm sick of this dumb bitch. Let's go to the meat factory and give some to the dog. 
Okay. Hello, I, normal man. I don't want to Sitting in his driveway with two distinct garages. <laughs> During the day, he keeps watch over his car. That is probably something someone did do in real life. Probably, Hello, yeah. Hello, Steve. How's the husband-to-be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Oh, you uh, teenagers right. are sure you are... do love to fuck. You always were a kidder, Steve. Oh, I like I'm to Mr. look at Johnson. that. Remember? You can give him the mouth. Glad you stopped by. <laughs> Just got finished <laughs> waxing the tucker. Since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> this guy's evil. Wait, you can say that you're a he tucker? Just, he just talked about cock going into your girlfriend. You should probably beat him up. Yeah, you should probably say that you're a tucker. Okay. Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. <laughs> you you stupid called him a tucker. scratch her up playing ball. Can I take a look at it? Don't see why not, but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my tucker. A few months back, someone broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. So, he has a garage he keep it in, but someone broke in, so he keeps it out here. He keeps it and out looks here, at it, so yeah. he can look at it. <laughs> Try still, punching him. It would still be a little safer inside. I really wish you could punch this particular guy. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good, <laughs> hard penis. Damn okay, straight. you gotta give her a good, hard <laughs> penis. penis! Penis! What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? <laughs> <laughs> like maybe that... Damn Sheriff Twain Twain! Dude, chill out. I was gonna talk about fucking her. Me! Sure, it's the only diner in town! I would love to live in a town like sure this. Got more his you just go out and walk around, talk to people, and just hear a million crazy things a day. It'd be so fun. <laughs> just wanna live around several freaks? Yeah. Edna fits this is good. what small towns are still kinda like. What a shame. To deprive a little girl of a positive male role model. And her mama of a fine, stiff penis. <laughs> what is with this game's fixation on penis? It's really just this particular character. No, what it's not! You Maybe you're right. You see. This is a grown-ups game, Lyle. If you don't talk about a penis every five minutes, how are people supposed to know? Bye now. I mean, that's been my logic. You got permission to talk, bro. You should, like, beat this guy up. Let's see if you can. Give him the old one, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yeah! yeah! Jesus! Yeah. Fuck yeah! No. Kick his ass! No! Yeah! 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 yeah. Yes! I hate this guy. Oh my god. Yeah! Oh, right in the, fuck right yeah. in his gut. Oh my god. Oh Dude, my this god. is a tire iron. This is the toughest fight of him. your life. Die! Get him, yes! Oh, he, until he's dead. What is he gonna fucking die? Holy shit! You need Leave to get alone. a weapon. He, he was prepared to fight. I'll get you. Jesus. <laughs> Punch his ankle. No! Oh god. Oh, that god. was so Here. stupid. He's too powerful. He doesn't seem like a good guy. At least it let you punch him, though. I'd say you should take your chances fucking swinging on the torso. Uh, you wouldn't right. dare. I would dare. I'd hit a guy with glasses, too. Whoa, what's that over on the right shining? Yeah. Down, 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 down. Yo, what's that? That's just gutter water. That's a. S s oh, it's just dripping water. I oh, see. I see why you would think it was shining, though. Okay. We we found Tomar. This guy too. We found Tomar. That's there not he me. is. My future son in law. And how's no. he doing today? I came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Ooh. <laughs> grounded to the wedding. Grounded. Changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. What all the meat at stake? What it, everyone keeps talking about meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. Hmm. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. 
and your father will give me all the meat I want. Wait, does your father own a meat factory? Yeah, I guess your father is the meat daddy. Father? I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. Father. He's not going to my die, father. is he? My father. Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And also, would you remind him about the meat? <laughs> Especially about the meat. I fucking yeah, love fine. meat. If I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? He has a fucking photo of meat. This guy's like a coomer, but instead of cooming, it's just meat. Yeah. He's a meat coomer. Yeah, he's a meatsturbator. <laughs> Go find the daughter. Is she your daughter? GF? <gasps> oh, that's that? Mrs. Oh, no, that's... That's the mom. But wait, that's can you... mom. That's not your Hello, GF. Hello, Steve. Have you flossed today? Uh, no, I don't play Fortnite no more. You look just like my mom, except for the hair. I like to see what's her name, Stephanie. Well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? Mr. Poston has sent her to a room, probably until the wedding. I think you could take her in a fight. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks. Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Say what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Okay, Mr. Potsdam. What did Mr. Potsdam do? You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. What did he fucking do? He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. Because he only talks about his though. fucking me. So keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> it's like those people that are like beyond helping, or it's like, oh, I can't get a date. It's like, dude, like fucking like cut your hair and stop talking hair, about stop you. Talking about meat. <laughs> yeah. Like, but this guy just will not stop talking about meat. You can't help somebody who will not help themselves, Mr. M Moynihan. Dude, I had a teacher called Mr. Moynihan. He well, smelled really bad. He's the funeral guy. Yeah. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored. He has connections with the Lodge. Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his Lodge application, but so far... Uh, yeah, I, I, I hate to tell you this, but nobody is actually actively helping that guy. What can you tell me about the Lodge? If you're curious, you ought to pick up a Lodge application at the Ooh. post office and take it over to Ooh, the, the Sergeant post at Arms. Office, huh? Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Poston. If you became a member of the Order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. Cool. My, wouldn't that be lovely? It sure would. Let's have a wedding at the lodge. That Get should be our goal. I want to marry this woman we've never met in a lodge. I want to see Stephanie. She's upstairs. Go right on up. I get to see my girlfriend. Let's see if she's all the hype's Is built up Is she the one too. playing the theremin? She fucking better be. Oh, this Whoa. is the pooping room. She's pretty. Toilet trees. Ooh, I get to look inside. No Ooh. fucking way. Steal, 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 steal oh, the tampons. You, yes, take everything. This is crazy. Take the vitamins, take the minerals. Floss. Take the dental floss, 300 feet of it. Band-aids, give me the band-aids. It looked like you got something there. Maybe I imagined it. Yeah, take the aspirin. Ooh, Ooh you Ooh. are steal. Ooh. Yes. We're in the medicine cabinet now, boys. Yeast we got infected. everything we could possibly want. We're gonna sell these! Where's my girlfriend? Yeah, now that we've made ourselves horny in the bathroom, we can speak to our girlfriend. I found Knowing that her. we're maximum erect. I think I might fuck it. What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. <laughs> so, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? What? You mean... You don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. This guy's game Can is you terrible. Tell me what's going on here? He's just doing, oh, Those I like whatever you like. people downstairs oh. locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Those people? What do you mean, those, those people? She's in the same situation as us. She just woke up in, like, this weird world. This is a weird world, Stephanie. Will you or be she's my emotionally bride? manipulating us, and she's in on the whole thing. That would also be funny. She's kind of cute. 
But ask what she means by those people. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Is it how much your dad talks about meat? Because <laughs> I don't belong here. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No. I can't remember anything. But I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. Sometimes I think I've lost my mind. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. I've got to escape. And so do you. Because in a way... But did you know it or not? You, this has happened like three or four times now where a character becomes Southern like... Yeah. Five lines of dialogue in. <laughs> I was gonna say, he had a, he gained a, like a Southern accent that I didn't notice before either. And is it just me? Or is she kind of like big compared to him? <laughs> Maybe. I feel like if she got off the bed, she'd like tower over him. His Her feet do seem larger than his, don't yeah. they? Like significantly. She's his giant ass. Grounded, grounded. He does kind of look like the poorly green screened guy in the, that fucking video. <laughs> Tiny husband. Roll the clip. Roll the clip, man. So I sit up here, watch the world outside my window, and listen to the noises in the house. That's really interesting. Dude, fuck this place. I say we leave her to her to her own like vices and we and, uh, just you, escape. You, you stole the the aspirin. That's all you needed. <laughs> you stole the meat guy's aspirin. Uh, it was the only thing keeping her alive. Wow, the post office. Looks like Mr. Pastorelli. Something something. The kid broke the window out of frustration. It's fucked. Oh. This that, does... That's a fucking mysterious woman. I like her. Blind woman blind is trying, woman to, read is the trying mail. to read the mail. I want to help her. I didn't know mail came in braille. <laughs> braille mail. Yes. I need some help, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. What can I do for you today? I lost a fight against like a geriatric <laughs> fat guy, but I think if you join my cause, we can team up on that blind woman and take her out. <laughs> can you mail him a bomb, please? Wait, it looked like a lodge application. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. You gotta okay. blackmail this guy. Ass. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Okay, bye. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. Talk to Blindina, see if she'll... Blindissimo. Can she's, you fight she's her? Just a, Blindina is, is a mere prop in this game. Can you hit her? I'm pretty fucking angry now. He's not gonna give me what I need? What a complete you, shit. I, like I said, you gotta threaten him or you gotta beat him up. What kind of items do you got? Yeah, look in your inventory. Uh, jar of aura lube? I guess you could try to suck him. Uh, I mean... Vitamins. Cough, cough. medicine. Aspirine. Aspirine and a quarter. Give him the dang quarter. I'll use bribe the, him. I'll use the dang pen. That interests me not at all, young man. Okay, you son of a bitch. I've bribe. got tampons and your name are all <laughs> over them. That interests me not. Okay, the lady must want tampons, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Fine, bleed on the floor. See if I care. What a fucking shitload of fuck, God damn it! Nobody wants tampons! <laughs> <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Why would anyone take it?! Uh-oh. It's okay, now you just go to the menu and you load. Really? Really? Yeah. Right? This oh. is the how the game started, yeah. Load game. Oh, oh this is a load game uh, for da, sure. Da, 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 da. Ah! Okay, so since we last played, we found out this guy is a <laughs> actually. What? Yeah, no, this is so this is true is that like uh is that um the guy who plays not the voice of the main character uh but the uh the the body of him uh really is a kidder. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, that the actual like <laughs> body guy that that's captured. This guy walking around, walking towards the camera and staring at us right now. 
So really our objective should be to get every ending except the good one. Yeah. So that all matter of horrible things happen to this fe fellow. Yes, exactly. And we should continue to insult his weight. <laughs> He's not even fat. It's his shirt, dude. Yeah. Let's get out of here. How do we leave? Damn it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we were in a- this is a post office, I'm guessing. We were in some sort of a pickle, no less. Hey, what's in our inventory right now? I forget to play. I for inventory. We got- We got tampons, we got manpons, we got a quarter. Shut up, you asshole. We got a pen. We got a whole quarter, a pen. Aspirin. Aspirin. Right click to use. Tough cough, cough medicine. Cough medicine. Vitamins. Vitamins. Tampons. Tampons and oral lube. Lol, what is oral lube? Well, when a man and a woman don't really like each other that much, but still want to fuck, mm. uh, sometimes you get a little help. Okay, buddy. It's called a fluffer. We haven't been to the barbershop, And then that fluffer we? can put oral lube on, and then you can slide right in. This is Pastor Olelli's. You can get a better fucking haircut to look less like a, you know, <laughs> what you actually are. Pastor Olelli. Examine my what? You get yourself a nice buzz cut <laughs> and go join the army. <laughs> Oh yeah, that fucking torso would love that. You're right. <laughs> hmm. Is that a little person? That's and a, a Troy Troy Baker. What's his name? <laughs> Troy, <laughs> not Troy Baker. <laughs> Vern Troy. Vern, Vernon, Ver, yeah, Vernon Troy or Ver I want to talk to him, Mr. Swell. Talk to him. Howdy, Steve. Ew. Yeah. Howdy back. You're not a real child, so I'm out of here. Oh, Steve, don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. That's how Tomar Keeps talks. It warm in the summer. That's how Tomar looks how at you. How is that how I talk? You're always trying to sell shit. That's Whenever Tomar realizes he's not making eye contact, he, he looks at you the first way. that. Look at that's then, Tomar in yeah. a hat. That is you, dude. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, make him lip sync to Tomar. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Do it. <laughs> you can paint aluminum, you know. This guy's like ready to go home. He's well, he's reading this script. I thought this was a fucking barber shop. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this crap. I don't need to know about this. We're talking about aluminum. For the plumbing. Well, he's not the he's not the barber. The barber's the guy in the cool. Red stripe it get up. He's what brushing the floor. Rube from way back. That's already Clam Parsons, how we followed up with the alarm system in here. So this guy just hangs out in his barber shop and calls him a fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Uh plumbing. Let's start plumbing. Tell me something about well, plumbing. I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game. So I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised. I'd be willing to believe that that voice belongs to that person. That's what they, they want you to think. Stop funning around now. <laughs> <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> so it was okay. He's <laughs> just like, okay. See you again, Steve. He seems like a nice guy. Wearing a nice little flannel. Who's Do this guy? you want to meet Mr. Parsons? I want to talk to Mr. Parsons. Doesn't respond. He does not understand English. Say something in Italian. Examine the cow head. Takes a true sportsman to hunt down those dangerous cows. Is that an alien on the left? Look, look at uh, the left, there's oh an my. alien's head. <laughs> it is a little alien. An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted on Barber's Wall. So I guess here, that's just normal. Talk to that yokel. This really does feel like a set from 3D Movie Maker. Talk to that shirtless yokel wearing Converse. What the fuck? Mr. Parsons is over here? Hello there, youngster. He's got a big hitbox. I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut oh. another crop circle in my south field. How come I never seen none of them saucers clam? <laughs> them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross <laughs> the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Wait, just point at the alien, dude. Why, pole? that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over <laughs> from Italy, wrapped all special-like. That is kind of nice. Yeah. Is that what Italians have? Is that why those are there? Seems I like guess it. so. 
installed that alarm system just to protect it. Though who in tarnation did want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem. Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a These guys seem like the most innocent part of this game so far. Yeah. They're just hanging uh, out. Yeah, they haven't tried to kill you at all. Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. These guys understand life and what it's all about. They sure do. It's about aliens. It's about the alarm system. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Uh, I need you to crosswired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spraying. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop. I feel like this is all stuff you gotta know. Yeah, this yeah, is gonna come with into the play. barber pole, you can make the fire extinguishers go off. Ooh, who's this? It's a picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. <laughs> oh. It's a dangling television, if ever I saw one. That is a really bad place for that. Sure does dangle. Well, I, I enjoy talking to these crazy characters. Whoa, so what about the sheep? Wait, examine, he's supposed to put it outside. Examine the barber pole. I always thought that those things were like supposed to be like a candy cane. Like I thought there was some kind of Moses situation. Yeah. Where like if you're a barber, you put one of those on your door and then the plague won't get you. <laughs> they won't kill your firstborn yeah, son. Yeah, Santa won't kill your firstborn on Christmas. It's screwed <laughs> on, dudes. We gotta remember, we gotta find a screwdriver or something. That'd be cool. You gotta go steal some tools. Why the fuck did he put that inside though? So that nobody steals it. That's yeah, crazy. He, it's clearly valuable to him. <laughs> uh, the barber shop, the post office. Have we been to the general store? Go to yet? the general store. Okay, okay. I don't think we have. Yeah, what can you buy for a quarter? Oh, there's another fucking sweeper. A lot of that going around these days. I think oh. you buy the whole inventory out for a quarter. I think this is kind of suspicious. <laughs> oh, someone broke in. Tape so and broken fucked. glass. It's too busy working to notice you. I tell you when I was Sneaker driving button. by Popeyes one day, the entire front window fell out and smashed. What? <laughs> yeah, and this guy grabbed his head and looked really sad. <laughs> he, he, I guess he was screwing it in and it just all fell out and he just looked so defeated. Oh, oh was no. Like, was he in the middle of replacing the window? It seemed like it. it so like, it oh, already, boy. like, broke? Yeah, it was the entire window. <laughs> That woman has a blue glow about her. She's got some kind of alias and issue. She's got a cool drop shadow. A bitch. This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. Uh, my logic was that maybe you hired someone, you fucking yeah. asshole. You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious, I need some help. <laughs> I'm serious. Well, you must help head. me. Good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog mm. the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Is my father named Willie? He doesn't have a willy. Care to buy anything today? <laughs> Yes! I was shit. conceived of two holes grading. Whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. I was born from the spores. <laughs> I guess look at... Can you look at the shelf? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, you definitely... Well, oh. Oh. Well, there's, a, there's a pipe wrench. Is that a butthole? What is that? To is spank it, the ass? Oh, are those, those are boobs. Wait, I really? Think. Yeah, what is I it? think those are nipples. Mouse over it? What does it say it is? It's an magazine. adult magazine. I have a quarter. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that is just like a, a spanked ass. Uh, we needed a screwdriver. You have a quarter. What'll that get you? Good point. Uh, maybe we should use the quarter, on the screws. What okay. the fuck kind of game? You got expired soup cans. We gotta pay this wonderful babe first. Oh, what's she watching? Why well, messing the VHF knob? What's a VHF knob, Tomo? Very high frequency knob. Really? I bet a quarter could get you a wrench in this day and age. Old TV tuners usually would have two knobs. Huh. I, VHF for very high frequency and uh, UHF for ultra high frequency. Oh. Maybe were, at some point there was an HF, I don't know. I thought you were trolling me with that stupid shit. No. <laughs> nah. My grandpa had a TV like that, that's the only reason I know. Whatever you want. Uh, so wait, I go into my inventory, 
I give her my quarter. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, it'll get you the adult magazine. Oh, wasn't there some kid who wanted you to buy him a girly magazine? Whoa, I forgot! Is that what he wanted? I thought he wanted shoes. Oh, you're right, he wanted shoes. Stop porning the children, Tomar. <laughs> well, who else would want a fucking porn magazine? Well, I guess, I guess back everyone. then, everybody, because yeah. there was an internet porn. <laughs> Wait, who, who did she just say? Uh-oh. She just said somebody, uh, somebody keeps coming in and trying to buy it, but she won't sell it to him. She just implies that she would like to sell it to you because because it makes you less likely to be like gay like the fireman. Okay, dear. Come back. I just want to talk, damn it. Oh, she won't tell me who that was. Okay, so do we have that now? Wow. You got the whole magazine. Use it on myself. Oh fuck. Didn't do shit. Want to look at it? I WANNA LOOK AT TITTIES! I'm sure it'll help you get something out of a horny old man. I WANT TITS! Okay, let's leave. Now this is a picket line I can get <laughs> We WANT TITS! You could go to your house. We haven't been to school yet. The or, meat plant. Have we been to the meat plant. plant or the TV station? Your dad da works at the meat plant. I wanna see dad da. Dad da. There's a lot of stuff. There's, There's a pulsating meat. dying on the, on, the, on the ground. Is that a little kitty cat? It won't let me talk to it. Examine the tracks. Uh -huh, nothing happens. Oh. Bloody tire tracks. This place is crazy. There's just a bunch of cats lying around. I can't go in? What the fuck? <laughs> You've done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Father. Oh. You did is that go your dad? In. There's a bunch of cats. Daddy? Steve. How's your father? Is he oh. better? Uh, no. About the same, I guess. I guess he's, he's still locked in a room at your house. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, you your mother won't let me talk to him. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest Is that a Chris Chanism? That this is a fine <laughs> kettle of fish. Oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? I guess uh, I am. Tell me about the cats. What's with all the cats? This a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Yes. They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? <laughs> uh, here. Well, that's right. If and you say you seem defensive, will he chop you up? Wasn't your girlfriend... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to die. Your girlfriend's father was like obsessed with the fact that you could bring him meat. Oh, we should get him some meat. That's good to know. Your father will be very happy if he recovers. He looks like Papa John. He does. <laughs> right? That's the face of a man that's had 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. That's post N word. Yeah, post N word Papa. That's where the scar came from. Punished Papa Family John. Family business, huh? Ugh. I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cuts. That's disturbing. That's... Only that's the yucko juiciest. mundo. Fly on meat, that's gross. Maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. <laughs> if we didn't... Would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Uh, Can I have some meat to take home? Yeah, yeah, get some yes. meat. Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Okay. So we need a written permission form for meat. We gotta go with the dad. He might not even answer us. I need a meat mission slip, father. Ugh. Yeah, but maybe your future father-in-law is willing to falsify one. Up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things if you're creative. They're eating human meat, aren't they? Probably. Oh, yeah. God. Just say human to him. <laughs> say the word human we to first. him. What's that cool ring floating in the midair? Oh. That? Oh, that's your cursor. You should, uh, <laughs> you should, mind. you should save and then say the word human to him and see what, what he says. That which you, your lips are, <laughs> I don't know. I was just trying to do an always sunny quote. Never mind. That's okay. Don't worry, Tomar. You're eating human meat. 
What is that one from? What? Oh, this used to- Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. That's oh sad. no, the kitty. That's not okay. You can't talk now, Steve. Uh, no! No, wait, say human. Human! Don't read you, Steve. Okay. Say cat meat. Uh. Don't read you, Steve. Yeah, sure you don't. You already How asked him about be? cats. Don't read you, Steve. Okay. Fuck you. Don't be such a strange. Shut up. Don't be such a stranger, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm gonna go talk to the meat. Oh, I can't, damn it. I wanna see mummy. Let's go home so we can swear at our mother. Mom! Mom, I need a meat permission slip! Mom, I need to say fuck! Mom! Mom! I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or- You listen here, woman. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation, now that your father is out of action? What? 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 Wait! What? You, oh, you have- you have to fulfill the Chandler family <laughs> legacy. So, uh, okay. No. Wait, so that we can no. probably undo the pedophilia. Yeah. Later, Just with what? incest? Whoa. What the hell? So you can watch if you want. Don't wow. have to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Stop talking about children immediately after that. Mother. You know what my character model will do. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted, <laughs> mother. You flabbered my guest. That's vile. You've gastered my mank. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna fuck mom later. <laughs> I bet you are. You, you're not the favorite anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right, mom? We're gonna. Ma! <laughs> oh. Wait, can you knock on the door and see if your dad will slip you a yeah. fucking meat notice? Yeah, dad, talk I'm to Papa. Mom. Ooh. A Father. wrong door. Wrong door. I'm becoming the man of the house. Give me a meat permission slip. It's firmly locked. We have to break in there somehow. Yeah. Can you try talking to Mom about meat? Mm -hmm. And, ho and a hope that she doesn't take it as a further advance? <laughs> Stop speaking nonsense, dear. It's not nonsense. We're it's all made of it. Oh, wait, well, let's talk it's about the these human guys. Condition. Who's Stephanie? And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance is having second thoughts about the way. Poop? I've never pooped since my amnesia began. <laughs> what is that? I don't what? even remember the last what time I pooped. Nice. Okay, Mom, you're being a real bee. Don't what was... to put the papers out for What's wrong, Tomar? Where's the what's the paper she keeps telling you to put out? Paper, paper, paper. We gotta find it. Is that it? I don't see no oh, papers. Is, that, is it by the door there? Oh, is it that box oh, or whatever like a box the fuck of papers. that is? God damn it. Mom! Stop! I don't want to fuck. <gasps> oh, paper. Okay. Can you put them? Give me. I think I got, I think I got one. So I have the paper. Can you put it out? Do you put it in the... It's that oh, third it's... thing, right? My bad. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Maybe... Oh, man. Try using it on, like, the porch. If, if... Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, damn it. 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 Okay. General store. Barber shop. Gone, where have you places. Not? You haven't been to the school. Let's go to the school. I hate school. This guy probably shouldn't be around children, actually. Yeah, we should get out of here. Look at this guy. Go talk to that fellow. Oh. Oh. There is a lot of people here. Stop examining the students, Chris. Don't examine the- They look stunned and zombified. Don't talk to that tiny teacher. Then they learned up to Jay. That's problematic. <laughs> Uh, talk to Mrs. Whaley. My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Steven. Discipline. 
Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. <laughs> she had some. Did you ever have that in like high school where like people would just come into the classroom and like say hi to their teachers and like leave like people that had like left the class like fucking like four or five years ago? Yeah, like maybe three times in my life. It happened to me all the fucking time and it it baffles me why anyone would do it. Uh, I, I can understand wanting to do it with a teacher that left an impact on you. I- maybe, but like, wouldn't you just be like a strange man to them? Like, if I walked into one of my high school classes, I don't think any of the teachers would fucking recognize me at this point. Eh, I don't know. It depends. I would just feel bad that I'm interrupting. And, uh, response is, yes, I did. What did she say? Uh, I think she wants you to live at the school with her. Okay. Corporal punishment. We don't practice corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But <laughs> a baseball bat... Yes. That bridges the generation gap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. Colonel Moreau is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone in the hallway, quick! Can you take that bat? What the fuck? <laughs> is she gonna bash these children's <laughs> brains in? Ugh. That's my kind of woman. When A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy crap. That's <laughs> 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 a Jeez. wacky way of getting- OH MY GOD! <laughs> <laughs> the was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Okay. Oh, the lodge. What do you know about it? Can I lodge it in you? <laughs> Anything can be lodged in me. <laughs> I am the widest and spreggedest in all the land. Oh, we, we always call back to Spreggin. Spreggin is a good callback. It is. I feel like you came up with that on like one of the first episodes of Oni Plays I was involved really? in. There's something, yeah, something about the term spreggin. I, I've just fucking integrated it into my vocabulary, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's perfect. We don't follow, do we, class? Fuck. Okay, fuck this. Stop by any time, Steven. You have to say fuck to everyone in the game now. You there. Except the children. Yeah, not the children. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's called perspective, Chris. I'm a big man, and she's a little lady. Look, she's my girlfriend. Wait. Oh, shit. Come on. She's my girlfriend. Yeah, they got the- they just got the draw order wrong there. <laughs> How are you so sure? I want to talk to more cool people. I can't tell you what's never intentional. You never talked to that guy there. I don't know, something's wrong about that guy. Oh, I guess you can only go in that one room. You could- uh, there's a broom closet you could look at where they fuck. Remember where they fuck? I don't want to think about that. Oh, yes, the broom closet. Where's yes. locked? Oh, yeah, the kid has the key to that. Oh. Can you pull the fire Steve, alarm? You be a scamp. By, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. He that is crazy. Chris Chan. What the hell? Good, good. That- that's Bob. That's nice it's Robert Chandler. Who are you? Did you create me? <laughs> You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, principal of Gain Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fella like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more... quality time. The fuck does that mean? Yeah, well, fuck, yeah ask what he means he by that. He point blank on the quality time. Yeah. What do you mean, quality time? Some like Miss Whaley favor stern discipline, corporal punishment, as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Aww, what a nice guy. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the lodge. Wait, is he offering to fuck you? Yeah, well, like, hmm? What does that mean? Ask Love. him to fuck. Fuck? Let's fuck, old man. Oop, she just lost me. Uh, okay, guess not. Okay, amnesia. You turned out pretty good. 
Except for that amnesia nonsense. It's not nonsense. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. You always Maybe were a kidder, Steve. It out. Oh, the things I could do to you. See? Yeah, he wants to fuck. You'd be a much finer young man with just a little quality time. I mean, the Greeks did it. If it gets me into the lodge. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Drop in again soon. Adult education is. Stop! You sick fuck. I'm gonna beat the pull, fucking go shit. Go pull the fire. Oh, <laughs> I entered his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna hit this guy. Can't do it. <laughs> I forgot you could attack people. Glass protected, huh? Anything we can do about that? Pen? Hit it with a newspaper. We'll hit it with the tampons. Okay, fuck. We can't do shit right now. Let's, uh... I think there's one more place we haven't seen. There are many places that Steve has yet to go. The TV station. Yeah, did you ever go there? Let's go there, Tom. Okay. When I'm there, it's called the Stevie Station. I'm glad there's a bread line going into it. Yeah, I'm glad there's like 60 Niles standing in a row. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a bunch of fucking 1930s <laughs> depression people being <laughs> brown outside the fucking... Yeah, they, they all have the same colored clothes. Yeah, they're sepia. Range Rider. Oh, this is the, the cow fellow on the show that your stupid brother likes. Maybe no if way. you if you have sex with him, your brother will respect you. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. No one's operating the camera. Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. <laughs> the guy looks fucked. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. My dog's <laughs> name is Steve. How do you do that so fast? Would you like my <laughs> autograph, Steve? Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Here you go, then. So I can give that to my brother, and then yeah, he'll love me? He will love you unconditionally. Holy shit. Okay, I want to talk about the TV violence. Violence? What about it? Can I do some? Children watch your show. Don't you think this violence is bad for them? I love all the blood and gore on your show. Wait, uh, if you if you say, is the, the violence bad for them, will he kill you? Uh... I don't know. Listen, buddy, I'll show you who violence is bad for. It kind of... <sighs> I want to save. Okay, I, I kind of do want to say it's bad for them. That's what I would say to this fuck. Yeah, yeah, tell, tell him like it is. This is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. <laughs> Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I ripped the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most kids don't see godless heathen <laughs> engines on a regular basis, and if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Range Rider and shoot the bejesus out of them. <laughs> they want to go untreated for this game's crazy. hallucinations, or wind up with their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. <laughs> oh, shit! Ow! Oh, <laughs> the guy's head is the only thing moving. The parents that are griping about violence on TV are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. But should violence be treated as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. Makes a good I just point put there. It on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. Now, <laughs> excuse me. We're going back on the air. Fella. Holy crap. He took that really well. I thought he was going to like shoot you in the skull or something. He was very professional. Yeah. And Actually well like it, in this day and age, if somebody had recorded that on their phone, that would have gone online and gone viral, and it would have been called, like, Buckaroo Bandit fucking destroys yeah. idiot snowflake or yeah. something. He handled that like Marlon Manson <laughs> handles shit. Yeah. Hey, sport. This is no one, no one would mention how yeah, I know. how he described the indie. <laughs> yeah, he was. I feel like that would be the subject of... That's of, true. Of the viral video. <laughs> WHAR is the only television station in Harvest. 
since the old Sentinel went under. What with the newspaper building burning down and all, we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. Damn. What an odd coincidence, hmm. Hey now, sport, that's an irresponsible allegation. I had nothing to do with that fire. Just because WHAR may have benefited from it and I danced on the ashes a little, doesn't mean I tortured <laughs> A little. You can ask Sheriff Dwayne. If you have any doubts. You seem awfully touchy on the subject, sport. I'm touchy when people try to muscle their way into my business. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave my office and don't come back. Steve is being kind of a dumbass here. Yeah, he's 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 showing he's too of much of his, his league. Yeah, he's showing too much of his hand. Although you are saying things for him, so true. Very strange reception. Everything in this world is weird or strange There's or something askew. weird is going on here. Something off kilter, in fact. Okay. Well, we can bring our like autograph to our bro. That sounds pretty cool. That's like a rad <laughs> idea. Steve, you suck, dude. Steve. There we go. Dude, get fuck. Fire station, newspaper building. You've definitely been to the fire station. We haven't been to the police station. You haven't been to the newspaper building. We were at the fire station. Yeah, the fire station was where they were all gay and drawing dicks, remember? Yeah. Let's go. Let's talk to the police about that, maybe. Okay, this guy's being an ass. Oh, he's drawing a dick, too. He's just doing it next to a car. He's fucking the car. Time to go into the Harvest PD. Oh, look at Fatso McNods over there. <laughs> Good one. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne. Is that and the same guy that uh, killed you for then touching his car? We haven't met before? Uh, I don't think so. Like, is that the same actor? But I heard about your alleged amnesia. No, I figured guy. I'd play along. I sure hope this is just a prank. And not the start of some insanity plea. Keep your nose clean, or you'll wind up in jail, and that's no place to hold a wedding. I think we're doing it at a funeral home, so it might actually be an upgrade. At the school. And she thinks you may be uh, feeling a mite bent about it. Hmm. That insane woman cripples children. You need to forget about it, boy. I don't interfere in school discipline. I leave that to the professionals, and so should you. Heck, there isn't a psychiatrist around who disagree about what a calming influence a dent in the head can be. He's making you good points. With the science, Steve. <laughs> well, I I do know problems. a thing or two about a dent in the head. <laughs> this game has a uh, like back then these renders probably would have taken a long fucking time. Crazy. You think that this is technologically advanced for the age? It seems like it was really expensive. I don't know. Uh, amnesia. it's weird that I haven't heard of it. I know. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a kid. <laughs> they always say that. Yeah. So every yeah, this is like telling me. the fucking thirtieth time it's been you said. Need to stop all this funning and get serious. You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career and about joining the Lodge. So everyone's told me. I've never heard the word funnin' before. I'm going to use that. It's awesome. Are you funnin' me, Chris? Are you funnin' around? you never heard that word? No, is it real? You've been Amnesia funnin'? Or no. You can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at Harvest. Yeah. I think you and <laughs> I sure are have. perfect for each other. I just hope her father lick slips doesn't spoil everything. I don't his, her father seemed pretty stoked that she's marrying the meat man. Yeah. But he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month, waiting for Boyle to bring out that month's lodge applications. And there's always a long line, never enough applications to go around, and even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Hmm. You were called to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless he does something radical, he'll never get in. I feel like this situation comes from something real. This, the whole idea of this order. Oh, like it's based on like Jonestown or some shit? No, just like, like how do you come up with writing that in? Like, like he keeps applying for the application, but he never gets in. Like you'd have to experience that first. Uh, crime? Crime-wise, nothing much has happened in Harvest since the newspaper fire. 
Oh, sure. Every week or so, we get the odd transient dropping dead. But other than that, it gets pretty slow around here. Hmm. What did you say? Can I go to jail? I want to go to jail. Now that's a place you don't want to wind up, boy. Oh, man. We've got a three strikes and you're out rule here in Harvest. You get arrested the third time, you never get out of jail alive. <laughs> so don't go committing any crimes, boy. Amnesia or no, I'll lock you up pronto. I like the society. Yeah, I like that you could just have a casual conversation with a cop and he'll be like, I'll lock you up, I'll put you in jail, I'll kill you. Three strikes and you're dead is, is kind of good rules. <laughs> Three strikes and you're dead. Why do you, you want to break your This is your third time stealing a Snickers <laughs> bar. <laughs> I'm I think you know what that means. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, hey, we already talked about that. Boy. Yeah, but you would never steal a Snickers again. That's true. Stop on by any time, Steve. I like him. He's friendly. Deputy Loomis. Anything I can help you with? <laughs> Dude, you sound like you're gonna fucking drop dead. The coffee sure smells good. Maybe you could get a coffee. Help yourself. Ooh. Speaking of which... You're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. She don't look like a good woman. What? Is is what you have contagious? Because I don't want it. Good women can be awful hard on a man's <laughs> needs, don't you know? This guy's speaking facts. Ooh. Stephanie. He's really spitting. Oh. Oh gosh darn, she's pretty. <laughs> Kinda like a gal I seen on some of them French postcards they used to make. <laughs> used to be. I'd take them things, go back into jail if nobody was there and kinda- Ah, oh, gross. This guy's a fucking cum goblin. This guy's a, like an absolute Holy coomer. Towels. What's his name again? That was a full Loomis? Loomis like, the Coomis? Yeah, he's like the Smeagol of Jack and Deputy off. Deputy Loomis. Who's Mrs. Loomis? Oh, gosh, I wish I had some of them girly pictures. Jesus, man. But Mrs. Loomis won't let me keep them in the house. Wait! Mm -hmm. This this guy, Train this guy this will guy surely give you magazine. something. Pictures up with one hand. She took the broom to me. Poor guy. I howled like a hound dog. The broom going up and down, <laughs> flashing straw and blood, blood and straw, and I drooped. I was crying so bad, <laughs> and it was so hard. I had to drooped? crawl under the porch neck and neck, neck with all the black widow spiders. Yeah. And <laughs> something fierce, little fangs digging into my bare behind, all over. This poor guy. Give the poor man some porn. Way to treat a man. And Mrs. Phelps and the sheriff don't make it no easier. Just saying this in front of the sheriff. Oh, yeah, tell me about Sheriff Dwayne. Yeah, Sheriff Dwayne had a little. <laughs> that voice completely changed. <laughs> he's looking right at the guy's fucking, like, <laughs> stomach as he's like, if Sheriff Dwayne wasn't such a piece of shit, if. <laughs> but see, he won't let me keep none here neither. He don't like me getting the jail mattress all marked up, don't you know? True. True. Tell me about the mattress. Sometimes a man can be good with a gun or a knife, but even so one-handed and all, he can get a little off in his aim. Ain't no shame in it. Uh. That's why the good Lord made evaporation and such. <laughs> He's just but talking about coming on the mattress. Don't like it. Uh, this guy is a menace. He's got to be a really good uh, deputy, though, because he's kept his job for this long, despite all he talks about being cum. Like, I'll bet when the cards are down, this guy can fucking, like, hit a, hit a criminal in the head from, like, across town. We can talk about a man's needs. I think we know what he's gonna say already. I appreciate what a man's gotta do sometimes in a parked car or... Waste high knot hole in a tree or jail cell at noon. <laughs> Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them okay. hard girly picture books. You've got a surprise. If you can get any. You see, clear to part with them. Bring them around when the sheriff's at lunch. And okay, so I guess you can't give it to him now because the guy's looking right at him. Okay, okay. Anytime, kiddo. Don't call me that. Take some coffee for the road. 
I will go to save my video game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and give it to him anyway. Here, motherfucker. Oh, I seen you brung me a girly picture book. Oh, don't give afternoon. me your name. Come back when the sheriff's at lunch. Say a little afternoon, and you'll be right as rain in my book. <laughs> Is there a passage of time? Yes, that I'm aware of. Maybe there's some key event you have to do, and then time will pass. Yeah, probably. Okay. Some key thing item that needs to be shoved inside another item. That's the evidence room. Where we store items lifted from crime scenes. It's kept locked at all times. There's things in there that could make people jump through hoops, if I wanted. Do you have any funny weed I could smoke? <laughs> And my and harvest always smoke is pepper. <laughs> Look at it's that. Pepper. Uh, That's us, male. Oh, I want to just fuck my mom. <laughs> West Wayward Hotel. Ooh. I don't know if you've been there to that Wayward Hotel. The lodge. You've yes. been to the cemetery. You haven't been to the mortuary. Uh, uh, you haven't been to the burnt down newspaper factory oh, or let's whatever. Look at that. Oh, this place sucks. You should examine those ashes. <laughs> Bless you. I love the fucking theremin music. Yeah, it's great. What's left of the newspaper building after the extreme fire? Is that a shovel? Shovel Knight? Sh shovel Knight? Give me. Yeah! Woo! I stole the shovel! Now you can dig up the ashes and find all the skeletons. At least the plumbing held up. Can I use the shovel on the ashes? Doesn't Probably to try. Not. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, you really can't. Oh, you got some remnants. Bake. Baka? That's what those fucking, uh, that's those fucking... That's a bit sussy. Yeah. It's a bit weird. I'm gonna try a little more that's here. what my DeviantArt girlfriend called me in sixth grade. So do we have evidence of a bake crime? Uh, apparently. Isn't that weird? Yeah, wait. That yep. was all? It was just the thing that said bake? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Holy Fuck. shit. The postal worker's button, it looks like it was ripped from the cloth. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn, well, that it's a good out. thing we went back there. Yeah. I was like, that seemed like too big a deal to just be the word bake. <laughs> well, we also got a shovel. We can bring the shovel to the cemetery and dig up people. Yeah. That sounds fun. Can we dig up Elvis? Let's dig up Elvis. Elvis, come to my wedding, Elvis. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Well, that didn't work. Well, that oh, didn't work. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Come on, man. If you, you can't do that, what can you do in this crazy world? This game sucks my ass! Uh, picnic table. Hmm, <laughs> the doors. Enter the crypt where impossible things may happen. <gasps> Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Was that? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> How come games got really bad after this game came out? Because they were all so, uh... They were all so frustrated at the release of this game that they all just gave up. <laughs> yeah, right. living in a shadow really fucking wilted them. I met the morgue! I met the morgue! It's the mortuary. Same shit. No. That's the big door, you see. Okay. Something's oh, wrong here. Yo. Ooh, that's nice. Seems more like a church now than a mortuary. A hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some ethereal power in the other. Yeah, yeah, I would have pinned that as ethereal power. Small lectern. I this game has the best ambience. Yeah, I kind of like the little Gregorian chants going <laughs> on. Okay, let's talk to this fucking guy. Steven. Who are you? I am Daniel Moynihan. Moynihan. Mortician and proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. This guy's Most fucking West, cool. I don't remember their name. <laughs> he really is. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> Besides, as one who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs of the living. Your loss of memory is <laughs> the no fucking sh shitting all. sounds. It was like I a Hanna-Barbera ice cream. <laughs> involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. 
I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. Bake. The proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. Man, I'm so intrigued in what the fuck is going on Ask right now. Ask about the bake sale. This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA. The Harvest the PTA. The, Harvest the proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums and societal rejects without families who wander into Harvest uninvited. Then, the Order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to conspire you that, but I movie guess movie you just outright said it. Passing through. <laughs> Don't ask me why, it's what those people do. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? Losses, you say? As losses as in they're not coming through? Like business L losses. Losses as in there's nobody to pay for them. Oh. Um, I assume is what he means because they're hobos. So he has to do them well, anyway. He'll explain. Ask, ask about the losses. Yeah. It seems that like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. God knows, by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? Yeah, this is not fair. Yeah, this guy has the harshest plight of them all. I sympathize. He just seems like a really good dude, you know? Yeah. No, he's one of the- he's one of the real ones. He's one of the- yeah, he's one of the good ones. Order of the Harvest Moon. As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the blood drive and the bake sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Neat. Such as... Porn, Pardon Steve. Me, there are corpses to Copious amounts. I and agree with the guy at the police at station. Give me the magazine. Order, however, <laughs> the whole game revolves around it. <laughs> Every character. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? Of all the spots in Harvest, the Lodge is the most prominent. Literally and... Figuratively, it is the ambition of everyone here to join. And join you must to attain wisdom. What kind of wisdom? If I knew, I'd be a member. I have the feeling you have what it takes to join the Order, Stephen. We all believe that. Whether or not you live up to your potential is up to you. It's also weird that everybody knows your name. I'd say it's been a pleasure. I mean, it's supposed to be a I small town. I guess that's true. So wearisome. That's fucking harsh, dude. But there obviously is some conspiracy against you, and that's why you don't remember this place. 33 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that not the uh, degrees a human body should be? It's perfect. Hmm. Okay, well, that was fun. And educational. We learned much. Uh, la, la, la. Any new places to visit? I don't think so. But what did we Have get? we visited the abandoned house? You still house? haven't given your brother the autograph. I think we did visit the abandoned house. Isn't that the wasp lady? It's wasp lady. Oh yeah, that's wasp woman. Fucking crazy bitch. Yeah, fuck her. Leave. Leave ah! this place. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, you could give your brother the, the <gasps> autograph. My house. My house. Brother! You would not believe what I have attained. Nine foot child, I have brought you a <laughs> sacrifice. Oh, you're gonna love this, you little fuck. Yeah, what, Steve? What? Oh, what? what? Fuck you, you fucking... You actual mm. prick. Do you He's value like, I could, nothing? I can walk down the street to the TV station, too. Mm. Howdy, Steve. <laughs> oh, it's got your name on it. Okay. Oh. No wonder he doesn't give a fuck. Shit on a stickeroo!